Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about performance brake calipers. And a shout out to Car Park Kings for sending these calipers to use in this video. You can check out their website in the video description. So we're going to be talking about three different methods which are used to increase braking performance with brake calipers. Larger pistons, multiple pistons, and staggered pistons. So essentially it's all coming down to these pistons. And starting with larger pistons, basically the ability to use a larger piston will increase the amount of clamping force you can have. So if you have a certain area, uh, pressure is equal to force divided by area. So the force on that brake pad uh, against the rotor is equal to pressure times area. So if you can increase the area and keep the pressure the same, the braking force goes up. Very simple, easy to understand. So the larger your piston, the more braking force you're going to have. Now this is going to have a bigger impact when you're going at higher speeds. When you're traveling at low speeds, most brakes out there are very easily capable of locking up. That's why we have ABS. And so at higher speeds, it's going to be more challenging or you need more force. So, you know, you're going at 150 miles an hour, you want to slow down really good. You're going to want a nice large piston on there so that you can slow down the vehicle a good amount. So moving on to multiple pistons, this caliper I'm showing you right here has a single piston, which you can see in there. Very large, uh, but it is not multiple. It's just a single piston in there. And so here I have my drawings of a single piston caliper and a multiple piston caliper. And essentially what you've got is the biggest change that you're making uh, is that you're allowing there to be more area on that brake pad at which you can press it against the rotor and so by doing this you're going to increase clamping force because you've got more area you're going to have more even pad wear with better pressure distribution across the brake pad and it's also going to allow you to use larger brake pads now moving on to staggered pistons, essentially what you're doing is you're using different size pistons as you move along from front to rear of the caliper. So the leading edge of where the rotor comes into contact with the brake pad, you'll have the smallest piston and then the trailing edge, uh, after it's already gone through the pad, you will have the largest piston. So why is this done? Why do you increase it in that direction? Well, the rotor heats as it moves through the caliper. So as it moves along this brake pad, it's getting heated up. So it's gonna be hotter towards the end of it than at the beginning. And so as it's hotter, you need more pressure uh, to have the same clamping force. And so you'll add pressure with the larger piston. The other reason is debris and gases get trapped in here. So as those debris and gases break off towards the beginning, they start to come out and then you have a gap within the brake pad and the rotor. And so you need more pressure to make sure that that gap doesn't exist. And so you have more clamping force at the rear and that helps maintain even pressure and even wear of that brake pad. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.